Hello and welcome to another session of Daily Prelims Practice. Here we will take up MCQs based on important news and articles that are featured in the Hindu and the Indian Express newspaper. Topics for today's discussion are displayed on your screen. Let's begin the discussion. Inspiration for the first question of today's discussion comes from this article which featured on page number 7 of the Hindu newspaper. Article discusses various facets related to judges being appointed as governor of the states. As recently, a retired Supreme Court judge has been appointed governor of Andhra Pradesh. Now, the details related to these discussions are not that important from the preliminary perspective. However, author of this article was a chairman of the Law Commission of India. So, we have taken up a question based on the Law Commission of India. Now, UPSC has been asking questions based on various parastatal bodies established in India. As in 2014, it has asked a question based on Animal Welfare Board, National Tiger Conservation Authority and National Ganga River Basin Authority. So, let's take up today's practice question. Question says, consider the following statements. First statement is, the Law Commission of India is a statutory body constituted by the Indian government. You have to identify the correct statements. Now, statement 1 is incorrect because as per the law ministry, the Law Commission of India is a non-statutory body that is constituted by a notification of the Government of India with definite terms of reference to carry out research in the field of law. The Commission makes recommendations to the Government in form of reports as per its terms of reference. Second statement says Chief Justice of Supreme Court of India is ex officio chairman of the Law Commission of India. Now this is again an incorrect statement. As the Law Commission of India which is oldest among the national level parastatal bodies remains an odd one even in its 65th year. Unlike its sister organizations established much later, it has no fixed composition, no defined eligibility criteria for its chair and members. And there are no set of functions, everything rests on the government's will. However, by convention, a retired Supreme Court judge or a Chief Justice of High Court has been appointed as Chairman of Law Commission of India. So, as you had to find the correct statement and both the statements are incorrect, our answer would be D that is neither one nor two. Answer for this PYQ is B that is two and three only. Now, the next question is based on this article which featured on the Hindu newspaper page number eight. Article talks about the various challenges for the implementation of the Mental Health Care Act of 2017 and what the National Human Rights Commission has to say about the act's execution across the country. Now, various important acts have been themed for UPSC preliminary examination. As in 2019, it has asked a question based on features of Maternity Benefit Amendment Act of 2017. So, let's take up today's practice MCQ. Question says, with respect to Mental Health Care Act of 2017, consider the following statements. You have to identify the correct statement. Statement 1 says, according to this act, every insurer shall make provision for medical insurance for treatment of mental illness on the same basis as is available for the treatment of physical illness. Now, as per the section 21 sub clause 4 of this act, this statement is correct. Second statement says, the government has to set up the Central Mental Health Authority at national level and a State Mental Health Authority in every state. Now, this statement is also correct. Apart from this condition, all mental health practitioners and every mental health institute will have to be registered with these authorities. Now, statement 3 says the act decriminalized the suicide attempt by any person. Now, this statement is incorrect. It decriminalizes suicide attempt by a mentally ill person. It also imposes on the government a duty to rehabilitate such person to ensure that there is no recurrence of attempt to suicide. So as you had to find the correct statements, our answer would be B that is 1 and 2 only. Answer for this previous year question is C that is 3 only. Our next question is based on this news which featured on page number 11 of the Hindu newspaper. Now, in an oblique reference to the BBC documentary on the Gujarat riots, Vice President has said that there is a sinister design to run down India's growth story. 
Although these political statements are not that important from the preliminary perspective, office of vice president is pretty much important from the examination perspective. As you can see, UPSC has been asking question based on important constitutional post in India. As in 2014, it has asked a question based on precedent and associated feature. So let's take up today's practice MCQ. Question says, with reference to vice president, consider the following statements. You have to identify the correct statements. First statement says, the electoral college consists of elected members of parliament only. Now this statement is incorrect. As the vice president, like the president, is elected not directly by the people but by the method of indirect election. He is elected by the members of an electoral college consisting of the members of both the house of parliament that is, it consists both elected and nominated member of the parliament. It does not include the members of a state legislative assembly as is the case with the president. Now statement 2 says he can be removed by a resolution passed in the Rajya Sabha by an effective majority and in the Lok Sabha by a simple majority. Now this statement is correct. As in addition to this, this resolution can be introduced only in the Rajya Sabha and not in the Lok Sabha. But no such resolution can be moved unless at least 14 days advance notice has been given. So as you had to find the correct statement, our answer would be B that is 2 only. Answer for this previous year question is A that is 1 only. Source of our next question comes from this news which featured on the Hindu newspaper page number 12. Now 23 repatriated Indian antiquities will be exhibited and each of their stories will be told to G20 delegates at Khajuraho. This exercise is a part of efforts to strengthen the mechanism to prevent illicit trafficking in antiquities and facilitate the return and restitution of such treasured artifacts. Now as you know Khajuraho is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and it has a group of Hindu and Jain temples and it is located in the state of Madhya Pradesh. It is built by the Chandela dynasty between 1950 and 1050 AD. Now important historical sites have been a recurring theme in UPSC examination as in 2018 it has asked a question based on Chausat Yogini temple which is situated near Morena in Madhya Pradesh. So let's take up today's practice MCQ. Question says, consider the following statements with reference to temples of Khajuraho. You have to identify the correct statements. Statement 1 says the temple at Khajuraho are built in Vesara style of temple architecture. This statement is incorrect as the temples of Khajuraho are a magnificent example of the Nagara style of temple architecture. As the temple consists of a sanctum, a narrow antechamber, a transept, additional halls and a mandapa and an ambulatory passage which are feature of a Nagara style of temple architecture. Statement 2 says the Khajuraho temple site is within Satpura mountain range in central India. Now this is again an incorrect statement. Now this statement is also incorrect as the temple site is within Vindhya mountain range in central India. Now statement 3 says Kandariya Mahadev temple is the largest of all the temples in Khajuraho. Now this statement is correct. As this is the largest of all the temples in Khajuraho, it dates back to the 10th century CE. It is 109 feet high and 60 feet wide. Inside the sanctum stands a marble linga, the symbol of Lord Shiva. So as you had to find the correct statements, our answer would be C that is 3 only. Answer for this PYQ is C that is 1 and 4 only. Now as you know UPSC has been asking question based on various reports and the institution associated with such reports. As in 2019 it has asked a question based on who among the following is the publisher of global competitiveness report. So let's take up today's practice MCQ. The state of the global climate report is an annual report produced by which among the following organization. Your options are Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change that is IPCC, World Nature Organization that is WNO, World Meteorological Organization that is WMO and International Union for Conservation of Nature that is IUCN. 
Now, the State of Global Climate Report is an annual report produced by the WMO, that is World Meteorological Organization. The report provides a summary of the previous year's weather and climate conditions, including temperature, precipitation, sea level, and other indicators. It also includes information on extreme weather events such as heat waves, droughts, floods, and storms and their impacts on human society and the environment. It is an important tool for tracking the progress of climate action and for assessing the effectiveness of policies and measures to address the climate crisis. So our answer would be C, that is WMO. Answer for this PYQ is C, that is World Economic Forum. Why we picked this question? Because this news which featured on page number 14 of the Indian Express newspaper tells that WMO report occupied center stage at the UN Security Council's first ever debate on the impact of sea level rise on global peace. UN Secretary General has cited the document and warned that a mass exodus of population on a biblical scale is impending. The last question of today's session is based on this news which featured on page number 13 of the Indian Express newspaper. Now the astronomers have found a ring around a dwarf planet called Quar, located in the Kuiper belt at the solar system's edge. Now important discoveries related to space exploration have been a recurring theme in UPSC preliminary examination. As in 2015, it has asked a question based on Goldilocks zone. So let's take up today's practice MCQ. You have been provided with various features of space like asteroid belt, Kuiper belt and Goldilocks zone. And in second column, you have been given the characteristic. You have to identify which of the pairs are correctly matched. Now first is asteroid belt. Now this is incorrectly matched as asteroid belt is a place in our solar system where small bodies mostly rocky and some metallic in nature orbit the sun. These objects move mostly between orbit of our solar system's fourth planet that is Mars and fifth planet that is Jupiter. Now the pair for Kuiper belt is also incorrect as it is a donut shaped region of icy bodies beyond the orbit of Neptune. The Kuiper belt shouldn't be confused with the Oort cloud which is a much more distant region of icy comet-like bodies that surrounds the solar system including the Kuiper belt. Now the description for Goldilocks zone is correctly matched as it is the range of distance with the right temperatures for a water to remain liquid. That is, it is kind of a habitable zone. And from this, you can identify that answer for this previous year question is C. As you had to find the correct match, our answer would be D, that is 3 only. That's all for today's session. Stay tuned for more such updates.